Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL 16 on Oracle Linux server. Let's come to Oracle server, then open terminal, verify whether this is Oracle or not. More slash etc os hyphen release. See, we are on Oracle Linux server and this is the version of the Oracle server. Now open Firefox by clicking on activities then Firefox, then go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. See, PostgreSQL 16 released on 14 September. Okay, now click on download or click on this download. Both are same. Click on download. Click on the operating system family. So, click on Linux. Click on Red Hat Rocky Linux CentOS, which is same for Oracle Linux. Click on it. Scroll down. Select the version. We have versions from 11 to 16. So, I am installing latest one that is 16. Select the platform. See here, we have Red Hat Enterprise Linux Rocky or Oracle Linux 9. So, this version can be installed Oracle Linux 8 or 9. So, select based on your OS version. Okay. Once we selected, see the script is populated. Okay. Then we have to select the architecture. I am going with x86 64 architecture. Then we have to run command, these commands one by one. So, first command is install the repository RPM. Copy the script. Now go to terminal maximize this one control l to clear screen paste that command provide the password of sudo user see it is installed repo okay now next command is next command is we have to disable if any inbuilt PostgreSQL module is there copy this command Go to terminal, paste it. Whatever the commands I am executing in this video are available in the video description. It is success. Now we have to install the PostgreSQL Server 16. Go to the document again. See, we have to install the PostgreSQL Server 16. So, command is sudo dnf or m both are same m or dnf both are same install postgresql then here we have to give version number if you want to install 15 you have to give 15 if you want to give if you want to install 14 you have to give 14 so we are going to install the 16 then hyphen server and hit enter see that download size is 8 megabytes and install size is 38 megabytes then type y and hit enter it is asking confirmation type y we have successfully installed postgresql server 16 on oracle linux now we are going to perform the post installation of PostgreSQL 16 on Oracle Linux server. Control L to clear the screen. First, we have to initialize the database. So, copy this command, then paste it here. Now, we are going to see the status of the PostgreSQL server. Now, we will see how to start, stop, and enable PostgreSQL server on Oracle Linux. So, first, verify whether PostgreSQL is started or not sudo systemctl status service name is postgresql-16 see it is inactive or dead also here the service is disabled what will happen if service is disabled it means whenever the oracle linux server or any linux server reboots then we have to start the service manually so to avoid this manual start we will enable 
the service. The command is sudo system systemctl enable postgresql hyphen 16. See, it has created a sim link. Okay. Now again verify sudo systemctl status postgresql. See, before it was disabled, now we have enabled. Now let us start the postgresql service because it is in inactive or dead, which means it is not started or stopped. Okay. So command is sudo systemctl start postgresql hyphen version. See version is 16. Hit enter. Let us verify. Status postgresql hyphen 16. See now service is running and it is enabled. Also see these are the list of the processes. Now let us connect to PostgreSQL server on Oracle Linux. sudo sudo su postgres. Then use the PSQL. PSQL is the utility to connect to PostgreSQL server. See we have successfully connected to PostgreSQL server. Let us verify the version of the PostgreSQL server we have installed. Command is select version see we have installed postgresql 16 okay the first step after connecting to the postgresql server is we have to set the password for sudo user let's verify the list of the users see i have only one user that is the super user which comes with the installation of postgresql server so set the password for this user the command is alter user username is postgres with password provide the password hit enter it is typo just give password and hit enter see we have successfully set the password for this user now create another user create user i am giving username as auto admin with password See, we have successfully created a user. Let's verify the list of the users again. See, new user is added. Suppose if you want to restrict this user to not to login, then use the command alter user, then username. Username is auto admin, no login. Put the semicolon, hit enter. Now verify slash du. See, user cannot login. Okay. Control L to clear screen you can verify the list of the databases by using slash L or select that name from pg underscore database. See, we have three databases which comes with the PostgreSQL server installation. You can also get the same information by using forward slash L. See, we got the list of the databases, owners and other properties of this database. Control L to clear screen. Next, now we are going to create a database. Create database of two schools. Again, verify by using forward slash L. See, new database has been added. Okay. Now, try to create a table in the newly created database that is of two schools. So, switch to the database by using slash C. Then database name. Database name is R2 schools. If you don't give, then whatever the tables created on the cell that will be stored in this database. So we are going to switch to this database. Now, now whatever the SQL statements we perform, those will be operated or performed on this database. So create table. Before that, verify the list of the tables. Forward slash DT. See, we don't have any relations. Let's create a table. Create table students. S numbers. S number int S name. Varcar. Varcar 20. We have successfully created a table. Again, verify. See, one table is added. Now insert data into this table. Insert into 
table name is students values hundred David. Let's verify the whether this data is added to this table or not. Select start from students. See one record is or one row is added. Now we will see how to find the configuration files in Postgres SQL Server 16 or Oracle Linux. First we are going to check the Postgres SQL config file location and file name. So config underscore file. This will give the file name and its location. See postgresql.conf is the configuration file for postgresql server which is located in this directory. The same if you want to find the HBA file location in postgresql server. HBA means host based authentication. So HBA underscore file. This type of See, it is there in the same directory, but the name is pg underscore hpa.conf file. Let's verify the data directory of PostgreSQL server. Command is show data underscore directory. See, this is the directory. In the same way, if you want to find the logs directory of PostgreSQL server, you show, under, show log underscore directory. See, this is the directory. Now go to this path and verify whether these files are there or not. Copy. To quit from the PSQL cell, use the forward slash and Q. We are exited from that one. CD. Paste that. Go to LS. LS hyphen LTRH. See, we have the data directory. Go to that data lsfnldrs see here we have the log directory postgresql.com file hba file okay and data resides in this base directory this is the wall directory see we have different directories of the machine you can also get the postgresql version by checking this file so more pg underscore version see we have installed postgresql server 16 so, in this video, we have seen how to install and configure PostgreSQL 16 server on Oracle Linux. For more PostgreSQL server videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.